fucking C.
got a little bit of a challenge ahead of us, guys, but nothing we could not overcome. Remember this, one lug nut, one jack post, one can of fuel, one lap at a time. Keep your eyes on your job. Everything will work out just perfect to turn one. Looks like it's just us two, Yannick, so let's try to keep her safe and we can both gain some safety on it. Especially since it's unofficial, there is no IR. Yeah, sounds good. I run a leak. We're only here for practice reasons anyway. Yeah, I run a league on... Uh, I run a league and we run mostly road, but we do run the occasional oval and my league members challenged me that since our primary basis is we focus on safety in all our races, they challenged me to get to class A on both road and oval by the end of this season. I'm starting from go. rookie, so I got a long way to go. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, covering C is not the problem, but then you would have to start racing trucks, which, or maybe racing trucks, so which is really hard on a safety rating. Oh well, I at least got my roadside up to A already, I just have to work on the oval. Yeah, I've got the road on A too. Unfortunately, this season is the only time I've ever raced the Oval other than a few times in our league, so I don't, I'm not good at it. <laughs> Get a chance to tell you about my boy earlier today? What did you do? I don't think I did. Uh, I think I told you about him earlier today. He saw the girls that are normally playing outside through the window and then yelled yeah. through the window, Hi, girls, and so forth. 
Well, I did let him go out and play with them for a little while, and I just wandered around outside for an hour or so That's while right. I was playing. And then he, they had to go in, and before he would allow them to go in, he demanded a hug from each of them. For shits and giggles, I decided to have a peek at how many series there are for Class C on Oval. There's like yeah. a dozen of them. What is there? There's trucks, fix, trucks, uh, modifieds. That's all I can think of. Well, there's a whole fuckload of them. Is this the additional one? Or oh, there's Class C. I only need to get four official to get my MPR, but I can jump my safety up running anything. I believe. That's why I decided to run this one anyways, just to double check to see if you can get safety from running an unofficial race. I'm gonna make this down back. Oh boy, this is gonna require... I'll stay high. Now, okay, no, thanks. Get back, get back, get back. Clear. That was from well, actually. There's only the two of us in the server, and he's still hitting walls.
What's he doing in the pits? Probably. I think I saw why you're at my safe to making here. Did you clip a wall? Yeah, I clipped like, the wall and then uh, I headed to pit and I uh, spun um, driving out of the pit okay, and crashed the gear. Ouch, that sucks. Yeah, I inadvertently got a whole bunch of extra safety. Er, sorry whole bunch of extra practice on Bristol here because in our league we had Bristol last week for all week and I didn't even have a clue what the oval schedule was when I made the schedule for the league so I spent better part of the week at least four hours a day on Bristol doing our official league practices so I kind of got used to it but Definitely not with this type of vehicle. I put your fella a long way. Oh, uh, what vehicle did you drive in the league? Um, our league yeah. has a rotating vehicle roster. We use all tracks on in iRacing as well as all vehicles on in iRacing, and the all of the events are five car multi class, and each week the two least used vehicles get punted and replaced with two new vehicles so there's always three one, three that'll stay on to the next week and two that change and last week it was the spec racer ford the bmw z4 the star mazda the tour modified and the ford mustang class b This week we're at Spa, and next week we're at Talladega. But yeah, it, makes it keeps it interesting because you never know what vehicles are going to be running week after week, and with the different classes it definitely changes things up because you, unlike most regular oval races where all vehicles are somewhat the same, you don't have a clue what to expect when you get everything there. Like we, the tour modified continued on this week, and we're running the tour modified on Spa as well as a bunch of other vehicles. And that vehicle was definitely not made for a road course, so it keeps it interesting. We run three races every weekend, one Saturday afternoon, which is a 1.5 hour race, another one Sunday morning, which is a 2.5 hour race, which is broadcast live by Max Speed TV, and then a third one, which is Sunday nights, which is a two hour race. We also host a minimum of five league practices during the week, one per weekday and regular open hosted servers, so even if you're not a league member, you can jump in and see what it's like. Normally we're in Kansas. Yeah, it's all great. Maybe I'll show up for a practice session if I have a time. We 
we found, especially with the strange mix of vehicles, it helps to have that practice time as well as just to be able to give people an idea of what the league's about without actually having to sign up. There's a lot of people who, we have a few people who always join our practice sessions, but they just don't have the time to run the races on the weekend, so we have some regulars that come in all the practices, and then we have some league members that can't make the practices, but come in on the races themselves, so it's a nice mix. Every season I set it up so that we have our own forums so I can set different types of poles than what iRacing allows and I set it up so that there's 50 tracks available for the membership to vote on for the next season and you can change your votes whenever you can have as many votes as you'd like and it's basically the membership itself that decides on the tracks for the next season all the time. And most of the time, I don't even bother voting myself. 20 laps to go. Oh, that's cool. It's interesting that the, that the Bristol reported, because it's not really favorite track of a lot of people. Oh yeah, I, there was a lot of people that were surprised because we're most of the league members are primarily road-based people and all of a sudden Bristol got voted in for last week and Talladega next week and we also have South Boston coming up on our ninth week as well so we were really surprised that a couple of the really short ovals got picked as well as the longest one on here that I know of even though most of our guys are road guys. Okay, that's cool, but... If you manage to get over to the website, we also have full race replays of all of our events, or at least I make full race replays of all of our events on our YouTube channel, but on the website there we have the uh, last couple of races from each, uh, our best practice and one from each season, a series that we're running this season. So it gives you some idea as to what the races are. The broadcast ones are probably the most interesting because, of course, with the live commentary.
Let there be checker flag. Checker flag. Well, it was nice sharing the track with you. Right, Hopefully, see job. you again good sometime. Job, really, really good work there. Hello. Very nice racing with you. And I guess we'll see. You as well. Do do do.